Want to find out how to make a build in The Division 2? Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you're going to make a build and how you could pick whatever weapon you want and make a perfect build for that specific weapon. Esava, this is Lazerbolt, and today we're going to be talking about how you make a build for dummies. This is going to give you guys the breakdown and the basic information on what you need to know whenever you start a build. So the first thing you want to do whenever you start a build is come over here and pick a specialist. The reason why you want to determine which specialist you want is because this is going to determine what weapon you want to use. So there's two things that you always have to prioritize when you're making a build. Number one is deciding what weapon you want to use for that build. Do you want an LMG build? Do you want an assault rifle build? Do you want a marks, uh, marksman rifle build? What type of weapon do you plan on using when you make that build? So that's number one. Number two is once you have the weapon identified is knowing which of the following specialists works best with that specific weapon. So just a quick overview. Demolitionist, if you run out, if you want an LMG build, got to go demolitionist, right? If you, uh, uh, survivalist, if you want assault rifle build, you go survivalist. Sharpshooter is a tricky one because it's one that works fairly well with almost every single class. Just that some of the attributes are kind of hindering specific weapon types. So that just kind of gives you guys a balanced idea of what to do when you do that. So quick rundown, pick a weapon. Number two, pick a specialist. So once you have all of that picked up, it's time for us to go to the gear and find out what weapon we want to do. Now that we know the gear, you want to know which is the best weapon and which are the best talents for that weapon. Now, if you guys want to know what those are, let's get this video to 100 likes and I'm going to put out a video telling you guys what are the best talents for each individual weapon and which ones you should be looking out for. So let's, let's, let's get that going, boys. Now that we have the weapon, and we know the specialist, our second goal is identifying what gear works well for that specific weapon. So we know two things. We know that for this example right now, we, we're running an assault rifle build, and we want to make sure that this weapon, the stats where it says the damage is always increasing, right? Every change that we do, we want that damage to be going up because the more damage we do, the more we're going to be able to you know, dish out more damage. Now, on top of that, there is multiple enemies in the game. We have elites, we have regular enemies. Now, determining what type of content we want to be playing, if you play PvP, of course, the way you build a build is going to be different. If you play high-end content, which is example like raids, challenges, invaded modes, and all that stuff, you're going to want to work on a build that focuses primarily on two things, d weapon damage and elite damage. You know, primarily sometimes more elite damage due to the simple fact that you're going to be fighting a lot of yellow bars in the game. And that's those are the two things you want to focus. Every time that you're looking, you want to see how much more can I squeeze out for elite damage and how much more damage can I get out of my weapon. So now that we have those kind of figured out, let's look about the number one gear set out of all the gear sets in the game that you want to start your build with. Now, if you guys watch my best assault rifle build video, if you haven't watched it, highly recommend you guys definitely check that out. And that's a really, really good build if you guys like assault rifles. The first thing you want to make sure you always, always check before any other gear that you want. What do you think it is? Ah, uh, 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 let's see who got it. Yeah, guys, it is going to be your mask. The reason why your mask is so important in the game is because it's the only gear in the game that gives you the highest amount of elite damage. You can't find the, this type of amount of damage for elites on any other gear set. So you always want to start your build with the mask. Go through your mask and find out which of the masks gives you the most elite damage. For example, this one right here, I have one that gives me 25 damage to elites. In addition to that, I have a plus 15 damage to elite perk or talent. So it gives me a total of 40 damage to elite. Now, granted, this is not the God Roll one. The God Roll one is 50 damage to elite. If you have that one, let me know in the comment section down below because I'm going to be very jelly. But that's the one that you want to shoot for, you want to get. So anytime you want to start a build, you're going to start off with, once again, a weapon, your specialist. Number three, you want to make sure your mask is the number one priority out of all your gear set. 
Now, once we know and we have established how much damage we have for elites, we know how much we need to put into that elite damage or how much we need to put into that weapon damage. Usually, for elite damage, you're looking to get roughly as high as possible but not below 60%. Now that we have those things uh, established, let's look at the chest piece. Now, I'm not going to go over talents on specific gear sets here because uh, that's going to be a separate video which is going to be called synergy and how synergy works in the game so if you guys would like to see that video once again let's get this video to 100 likes and we'll go ahead and get that out for you guys this week so for the chess piece guys you're going to be looking for a chess piece that gives you the following it's going to give you damage to that specific weapon you're planning to run if you're trying to run an lmg you're going to look for something that gives you plus 10 lmg damage for example, in my video, what we're talking right now is assault rifle damage. We got a plus 10 assault damage. Now, on top of that, my attributes also contribute to the damage of my weapon because I have a plus 5 weapon damage, plus 9 headshot damage, and a plus 7 critical hit chance. So this is actually a pretty good chess piece because it's going to give me additional damage for my weapon from that specific rifle. Next up, we're going to be looking at the holster. So the holster, once again is another one that you want to be looking that has damage for that specific weapon. If for some reason, guys, you guys are missing that specific gear and it doesn't give you damage for a specific weapon, you want to look for stuff that gives you critical damage or headshot damage or damage to elites because those are going to be very valuable for you for the end game. Now, of course, priority is going to be damage for that specific weapon. So right here, we have one that gives me assault rifle damage plus 10 so I'm really, really happy for that one. And uh, I could get a better one, though. Granted, I, I'm not extremely satisfied with this one. I would like to get a better one. But as of right now, we are. Uh, I'm currently not rocking this one in my build. But if you guys saw my uh, assault rifle build, I'm not using this one. But this is just an example of how a build would work. Next up, we're going to look at our backpack. Now, for our backpack, we're going to be looking for two things in primarily. Number one, of course, are the talents. We're not going to go over talents too much. But you want to be looking for a backpack that is gives you the advantage to actually mod that backpack. Now, when I mean mod that backpack, if you guys notice, this backpack right here it has a little dot, which means I've actually added a die to it. But if you look next to that little circle, it doesn't have an extra square, right? So you want to look for a backpack that at least has one square to two squares. The reason why is because this is going to allow you to have mods in that backpack. And mods help you boost the damage for a specific weapon. But primarily, you always want to be looking for a backpack that either gives you a specific more damage to a specific weapon. For example, if I were running an LMG, this would give me plus 10 LMG damage, which is not bad. I actually would take that. I'm, I'll be happy with that. But if I'm running an assault rifle build, you're going to want to look for one that either gives you assault rifle damage or one that gives you weapon damage. Now, the more weapon damage you could get out of the backpack, the better you'll be. So, for example, let's say I want to go and use this one right here, right? So, I'll go put this one right there. And then on top of that, I believe I'm, I should be able to mod this and give me more weapon damage. Oh, actually, this gives me skill power. Uh, but if I have a backpack that gives me more weapon damage, I would look for one that would give me more weapon damage out of all of them. Of course, not messing with the perks once again, guys, because that is part of a synergy video. So you guys know exactly what's going on. Next up for the gloves, guys, we are going to be looking for another one that boosts my damage to my weapon. You're probably wondering, laser, like how do we know what boosts damage to the weapon? So if you guys notice on my attributes right here, I am able to determine which one gives me a big boost for my weapon. For this one right here, you guys see I have two, right? I have this one, which is plus six assault rifle damage. And then I have this one which is a plus seven assault rifle. And you're probably wondering, why aren't you not running this one instead of the other one, right? Because that's that would be the smart thing to ask. Now, the reason why I'm not running that one, as you can see right now, is the following reason. Because this one right here on the top, not only gives me plus, 15, plus six damage to assault rifle, plus it gives me a plus 15 damage to elites. Remember, we're concentrating on three things primarily. Weapon damage, which is your assault rifle, Number two, elite damage. And of course, number th number three, we're going to be concentrating on how much damage our weapon is outputting. So once we have all that thing figured out, we are then going to go to our stats. And our stats are going to give us a better understanding of what exactly we're trying to do with this build. And if this build is working. So first thing you want to look at here, of course, 
Does your weapon damage, you're going to want to figure out, okay, well, let's see how much weapon damage am I doing. Even if it might be a little bit lower, you want to look at different stats. For example, critical hit damage. That's going to be a really important stat. You want to be always above 30. Headshot damage. 79 headshot damage. When it comes to headshot damage, you once again want to be above 60. Now, these are base numbers. This is just to start up a base build. Of course, the higher you can get these numbers, the better it's going to be. Another stat that's really important is all weapon damage bonus. Mine's just relatively low, 5.5, but you want to at least have this plus 10. And that's because my build is not, right now, it's just a quick video trying to show you guys exactly what works. But you want to have the all weapon damage bonus really high. And of course, your weapon damage. You want your weapon damage to be over 20. Now, right here, I have a 31 assault rifle damage. Now, granted, if I move a couple things around, I could get this all the way to 45, but I would lose damage to my elites. Now, as you guys see right here, my damage to elites is 90 damage to elites. That means anytime I hit an elite, he's going to actually feel that, and I'm going to be able to take him out really fast. And that's what I want because most of the builds I work on are builds for endgame, and the endgame is very important to me, and I think it should be important for you because that's where we get, we technically should get the best loot, right? For me primarily is if I have 90 damage to elites and maybe another, if I remove an item and that would give me a boost on my assault rifle, like maybe push it to like 40, what would I rather sacrifice? I would definitely sacrifice the assault rifle damage because I want that extra elite damage which is going to cut my time to kill very fast. So that's why you kind of want to play with the numbers. What exactly do you prioritize? Do you prioritize endgame content? PvP content or just regular playing is going to determine which stat you want to build on. If you do a lot of endgame, damage to elite should be your, like one of your top number one priorities, then weapon damage. If you do more Pv PvP content or more, you know, like not really too important stuff, then you want to prioritize weapon damage over elite damage because you won't be killing any elites technically. So that's what you want to play out when you guys, uh, you know, are doing a build. And that pretty much covers uh, down the basics on how to build a build. You pick your weapon, pick your specialist, and then determine out of that, out of your gear set, pick up your mask. Remember, because we're doing elite damage. And if you're not doing end game content, you definitely pick up another gear. But that is pretty much how everything works and how you start a build in the Division 2. Like I said, I'll have a separate video going over what is the, what are the best weapons in the game and the best perks for our talents. For those specific weapons and I'll plus I'll also have a video on synergy and how talents work which each individual gear set now if that's something that you guys are definitely interested in let's get this video 200 likes don't forget guys to subscribe to the channel turn on those notification bells so you guys can know exactly when division 2 videos go live if you guys have any additional questions regarding to this video leave it in the comment section down below or if you just want to message me regarding anything else hit me up on any of my social medias the links are down below as well don't forget, guys, if you ever want to stop by, have a cool chat or just positive vibes or just watch really awesome gameplay, definitely make sure you guys follow us over on Twitch. The link is down below as well. Hit us up with that follow so you guys can know exactly when we go live. Once again, Bull Nation, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, W-G-A-T-A-P, and I will catch you guys on the next video.